Good, whatever it is, I'm Antalus and welcome to FTL. So, FTL, for those of you that don't know, is kind of like a colony game. You, It all takes place on your ship, and so you have a galaxy to explore, you fight off enemies that both across ships and on your ship with random events, and it's kind of an interesting and fun game. I've had this game for close to two years now. I'd never actually played it until this last weekend and I really enjoyed it. And so I thought I'd share it with you guys. I, I'm pretty sure that almost everyone will have heard of it. It went pretty big a while ago. That doesn't mean that I don't want to play it though. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We're just going to use the first ship. I haven't unlocked any other ships in this instance because I played it on a different computer. But that doesn't actually matter. I kind of really like this starting ship. We're going to go ahead and just play it on easy this first time, just to get a feel for how it goes, too. And some of the story it has, we'll swap things around and play a bit more later. Huh. I'd never looked at this before. So. This is the layout of our ship. Each of these rooms has a purpose. This engines, oxygen, weapons, medical, shields, cameras or sensors, doors, and helm where the pilot sits. Man, I couldn't think of the name for it. So these systems can take damage. We have to use them to do various things. Run of oxygen, everyone dies. You can't leave without your engines. You need these to fight back. Doors is a very interesting one because each of these orange things are doors, and so they can open and close. And that's a very interesting system. On in my last playthrough, I was boarded back here, and I didn't think in time to open the doors, and so I ended up letting them get like all the way up here, and I couldn't do anything without sacrificing my crew. And so, some difficult decisions were made, I'm just gonna say that. But, that's what we're gonna do. Um, the name of this ship... Ooh, I am not good with names. And... Air. The Antair. Yep, we're, that's what we're going with. I, I kinda like making up words for these things, obviously. So, this is the story. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Hit fuel every time every jump consumes one unit of fuel, so keep an eye on your reserves. Buy fuel as stores to avoid being left stranded. Okay. So we can go ahead and just resume. So here's our ship. These are the doors that open and close. Fancy. Most doors don't do that, I know. Oh, I didn't even realize I had these buttons. These are fancier than I thought. So these are our, this is our scrap. We can use the scrap to up, upgrade our ship. The scrap also functions as a currency in this game. And so I'm not gonna spend it quite yet. Um, more power means more systems that we can use, but this is the max power we can put into each system. So say shields for every two points we get here, we get an extra one point of shield. So right now we only have one point of shields. Um, FTL, if we upgrade this, it improves our dodge chance and the recharge rate. This will increase our healing speed of crew. This will increase how fast we can repressurize areas. And this just lets us run more guns at once. So, better doors see more of the enemy ship. So those are sensors. And piloting. Better evasion. Ooh, I like that. We're just gonna go ahead and accept because we haven't actually done anything. We're gonna hit jump. And so this is what we do. We gotta figure out where to go. And I'm just gonna go as quickly as I can to this first exit. So jump. And here's our first random event. So what seems at first to be a simple nebula is actually filled with a good amount of debris. Real exchange between several ships. I can just buy you. It's hard to determine the combatants were without closer investigation. 
So we can investigate or ignore. Investigating has a chance of rewards, but also a chance of lots of different things. Um, mainly being damaged to the ship. Or so this is the safe option. It's not always the safe option though to ignore them. So we're gonna go investigate just cause. Okay, so as we approach a slug ship makes its arrival, it hesitates for a moment, then jumps away. Okay. So nothing happened then. Okay. I'm gonna just power our weapons to be safe. So that if we jump in somewhere, we can have weapons online. And so when this happens, they're charged, you have to target them. And so let's go ahead and jump. And they won't be charged when we finish our jump, too. Just as a note. Okay. So a rather large fleet of civilian ships out of this beacon. It appears to be a rebel checkpoint. Oh. So we can attack, we can bribe, or we can just hide. This is probably a really, really bad idea, but I want to show off the combat. But we're going to fend for ourselves and attack. Okay, so let's pause. So, with these, auto fire, left control plus aimed force weapon to do the opposite of current setting. Okay. Interesting. So, let's go ahead and resume. Our weapons are charging. When these are full, we get a chance to shoot. They have about the same amount of shields as we do. Our shields are down, and they're up again. The Artemis is good at bringing down shields very quickly, and I want to target their shields. I believe the Artemis actually penetrates shields. Yeah, ignores shields. Um, our first laser, let's focus on their weapons instead. Go ahead and fire. And miss with both. Eesh. I'm curious what it will choose to target. We also only have limited missiles, so we have seven missiles right now. Target shields. Oh, come on. Ooh, their weapons are down for a bit. So given the auto fire is on, it will just automatically retarget things. I don't want to auto fire everything. I don't want to fire the Artemis if I don't have to. It's trying to escape. Pause. So we gotta hit its engines or its pilot. We're gonna hit its pilot. Oh, come on. You have terrible aim with that. Oh, we got it. Yes. Okay, so this is what we get from it. So this is fuel. These let you launch drones. And then we can just use the scrap for money. And then we got our reverse ion. So let's go ahead and check out our ship. We're going to need to restock on missiles because we used more than half. <laughs> we have such such horrible aim. Protect your ships from ion damage, giving you a 50% chance to negate it entirely. Cool. Crew's doing fine. Um... Go ahead and get an extra power bar, just for kicks and giggles, and we'll add that to engines. And jump. Oh, I missed showing you something there. We'll try to remember to show you on this one. Ooh. Ooh. Recognize this ship as a slave trader. Yeah, this unit offers laborers for cheap. We could fight it, and I don't know if we could get any slaves from it. Martin looks like a dog. We'd get Martin. 
I don't really feel like we're in that much of a position to fight. kind of want someone, but I, I don't really like the idea of letting a slaver go. We're, we're going to open fire. Because it's the stupid thing to do. You target that. Artemis, I'm not going to use you yes and yet unless I need to. Which it looks like I might need to. Go ahead and vent that to space. Artemis. Take down their weapons. Take one of their slaves as tribute. Okay, I accept your offer. Okay, so we only slightly took the moral high road there because we did accept a slave. You, I want you. Shields get a bonus for having someone there. That's what that little icon means. We're going to refill that with oxygen by closing the door, and then it will just eventually refill. So our oxygen amount is going to go up. And so we're going to jump. So this is the enemy fleet. So if you're back here, from my understanding, you're fine. You're going to have combat, but you're fine. If you're in here, you're just dead. I've never really waited around to find out, but... I, I'm not sure I want to wait around to find out. Oh, a pirate advance is on your position. Prepare for a fight. Okay. They've got drones. Okay, we need to take out the drone control. And we only have two missiles left. Let's actually target weapons with this one, and then you target the drone control. Okay, drone control and weapons are down. We're just going to power down the weapons. It's trying to escape. Not on my watch, buddy. And they've got their drones back up. <gasps> we got it. Okay. So we got some scrap. We got another missile, which is good. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and jump. A store here or a distress beacon. We have plenty of fuel. We're gonna go to the distress beacon and hope it's not something really bad. Okay, you locate a nearby human mining colony where an unknown disease has spread. Oh dear. So I'm quarantined, but a riot has broken out. I am so sorry. I'm not willing to risk my crew for this one. And this isn't the moral high ground but I'm really worried about what could happen if we go down, given an unknown disease. Bye. I'm sorry, I'm a jerk. But people had to live. Okay. Oh, yeah, we can just buy stuff. So, we're gonna fix our ship. We're gonna buy some fuel. I think that makes sense. And we're going to buy some missiles. And we don't really need drone control. I wish we could sell that to them. We could actually get drone control. We don't have the money for it. Oh. I think we're just done. So, let's look. He's our... Yeah, he is our best pilot. You are the best with engines. You're not good at anything. The best with what? Okay. Um. We we're just gonna sit here for a bit and let this guy heal. That way, if something happens, he'll be able to live for longer, and that might make a big enough difference. Power the Artemis again. Let him jump. We have six missiles. I want to... Uh, I want to save those, but this might not be the best time. We're going to defend the outpost. Okay, pause. First laser. We only have one 
gun. From memory, that drone has actually been a huge issue for me. Fire one Artemis. do this. I believe in you. And I'm sure they're trying to repair that right now. We've almost got them just one more point of hole. We only used one missile to do it too. There we go. Okay. Two missiles gained. That was worth it. Three fuel and some crap. And they pay me as well. Awesome. That was definitely a worthwhile thing for us to do. Okay. okay. We're going to jump to the exit. And all this is, is you can jump to the... Oh. I've never had an event in one of these. So a rebel space station and a single fighter... Mario the Beacon for Federation Activity. Thirteen scrap to do that. So we didn't really take the high road before when we just attacked. Let's do it. Okay. Oh. I was hoping they'd be like, thanks for saving us. Very dangerous. So, maybe it's not an instant loss. However, I don't want to go back. I don't feel like we're ready for that. We're at the exit, so you go to the next sector, and then you can go and choose where to go. A civilian hostile, Nebula. We're gonna go for the Nebula. And lovely background. Okay. Oh, can't see the whole ship in this too. That's lovely. So I think this is a good spot to call the episode. It's a little shorter than I normally do, but I think one sector per video is probably a good idea. And these, uh, they're only slightly off. We'd get maybe one more you get one more jump in probably not two though so anyways let me know what you think of this if it's something you want to see or if it's something i should just play on my free time but anyways i'm Antalus. i'll catch you later